Hi guys, so today I'm going to review a new book. This is a book I've been reading for quite some time already. Uh, I haven't really finished everything, but I am almost there. It's a book on, yeah, it's a book on number of things actually. It's written by a very famous author, you know. Here is the author name. I'm, I'm on his website actually. So you all know Horary. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. So he's a very famous uh, author, right? He's a well-known historian, commentator, and you probably have uh, you know read his book already. Uh, Sapiens uh, is a very famous book. Uh, but he's also on a number of other things. He's on podcast. He's been on uh, Lexman, Lex Friedman's podcast. He's been on almost every famous podcast I've, I've, I've you know i know of so he's a very famous guy and uh, he's he's an uh, he's a historian uh, he teaches at uh, an university in israel and a very well read uh, well known author in modern times and this particular book is not on history this is on history plus information science bronze plus ai and the reason why I started reading about it is because of AI. And I thought maybe it's good to know uh, from a historian point of view as to how the information world has changed from being, you know, passing information from one place or one person to other person through, you know, direct means to through then becoming digital means. And then there's another version of digital means, which is the AI. How how uh, how we sort of arrived at this stage from from uh, history, you know. I was pleasantly surprised with the first uh, few chapters. Well, I do have the hard copy, by the way. This hard copy I have with me, uh, and this is a you know a first few chapters were really a bit boring, but I think uh, also a bit interesting in a way that it really touches upon the historical aspect of it then it moves to ai and that's when the problems start with the book because um you know he's writing a lot about the ai even though it's still evolving and we do not yet know as to how things will be in in the future so the uh, the story about ai and how ai will save the world is something that i was really not impressed about because a lot of things First of all, are very speculative, but as a historian, I think his he sounds as if these these things have already happened in the history, and then he's writing about it. You know, that's the problem with historian. Historian write as if everything is already has already happened, so it's the events are all in the history, so there's no speculation involved, and there is evidence to prove that something has happened in the past. But that's not how you write about AI because AI is at its infancy and if you write anything about the future, you uh, speculate and you write in a way that you have you know, all kinds of uncertainties and you're just speculating about the future, you're, you're not too sure about it. But that's not the language he seems to have used in writing. But other than that, by and large, this is a good book, especially for interested in history of information and you are interested a bit about the history of geopolitics and how information exchange used to happen between uh, you know human beings we human beings but later on between tribes and in you know later on between kingdoms and 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 now with countries and how things have changed over time you know, yeah it's it's a pretty good book but if you're really looking for a book on ai this is certainly not a good book i would say you know if you're absolute beginner and you have no idea what AI is and you've never been you not from a technical background uh, you haven't been following what's happening in AI then it's not the best book to start your journey right if you already know a bit about AI then this probably yeah some of the things that are written here probably are uh, very interesting um, again I would hesitate to say that because a lot of a lot of the things said here are also a bit speculative and a bit fear mongering rather than uh, having any evidence to prove as to why those things would happen in the future. For example, the disruptions about AI and how we human being will uh, will sort of uh, be self-destructive because of that. That's again speculation, right? We used to have speculation even for electricity. When electricity was invented, we were also quite speculative when computers were invented back in 50s, 60s or even before that. So. You know, it's still an infancy and we're not yet there, right? So everything is just a speculation. But the writing style is, is as if he has full evidence of everything.
so that the last part was on the ai is something that i did not like too much but uh, the first few chapters were really really nice and if for someone uh, if you i mean it's a good read nevertheless i mean uh, if you're a fan of uh, non fiction this is uh, a good read but if you are just reading just for to to know more about ai this is certainly not the best book okay it's it's a quite a big book by the way thick book huh? it's uh, it runs into hundreds of pages so this is not a, a one weekend read this is a very serious read can be very boring for many people by the way uh, but if you are more academically oriented and you really want to read uh, a book continuously for days uh, if not for months this is one decent book but this is something that you cannot finish over a weekend or uh, or you cannot finish i mean this is not certainly not going to be a casual reading you have to be a serious reader in order to finish a, a book like this all right i will uh, come up with another review with uh, another book until then thanks guys